Hello viewers, welcome back to this video lecture series on computer networks. So in the previous video lecture, I had given the introduction to unicast routing and uh, explained you the importance of the least cost tree, which is nothing but uh, the shortest distance between one particular node, which is treated as the source node to all other nodes in the network. Now this distance vector routing algorithm, the heart of this distance vector routing algorithm is the Bellman Ford equation. So what does the Bellman Ford equation says? Suppose if there is a node source node X, okay, and another uh, destination node Y, and there is what the different paths to reach the destination. Let us assume that these paths are through some intermediate nodes like A, B, C. Okay, there are different paths which are through different intermediate nodes. So the cost between these two is mentioned C X A. Cxb, Cxc and the distance between these two Day, Dby and Dcy. So this is what this is the cost between the source node and the intermediate node, source node and the intermediate node, source node and then this is the least cost between the intermediate node and the destination, intermediate node and the destination, intermediate node and the destination. So that is the reason normally what happens is whenever you are writing on that particular this one, this is always with a bold line. That means already the least cost from this intermediate node and the destination node Y is decided. But here still this particular cost, okay, that will be represented with a dotted line. So this is the least cost between the intermediate node and the destination node is represented here on this particular links you can see. Whereas the cost between the source node and the intermediate nodes is mentioned here with Cx. Now, Bellman Ford equation says that the distance between the shortest distance to determine what from the source to the destination, you can use this formula dxy. Okay. The shortest distance will be always minimum of what? Minimum of the Cxa plus d a y that is one particular path comma c x a c x b plus d b y comma the other path is c x c plus d b d c y so the minimum of these three out of these three whichever is the minimum becomes what the value for d x y that is the shortest distance and one more thing to in the distance vector what now suppose if this is the source node and if the destination node already the node x is having what the least cost decided between x and y okay let us take this is what the least cost is dxy the distance between this x and but there is one intermediate node okay x or p anything you take suppose if this is the intermediate node so cxp and dpy now this distance dxy the, uh, the this one the shortest distance for the node x to reach y using the bellman ford equation can be written as dxy minimum of this one dxy okay comma what the other one the alternate path is c uh, what is that cost of cost of cxp plus dpy Fine. There are two values. What does this particular uh, information says is suppose if a least cost path is already decided like let us take d x can reach y at a cost of phi. Let us assume okay but x can later x found that there can there is another alternative path to reach y which is having what the cost as year 1 and year 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So minimum of what already existing x is having phi comma cxp plus dpy 1 plus 2 this is 1 this is 2 1 plus 2 which is nothing but minimum of 5 comma 3 so what is the value 3 minimum so a path can be updated also that means the cost which was earlier decided by x can also be updated uh, after x found out that there is an alternate path via an intermediate path to reach the destination so this is what the bellman ford equation says so using this bellman ford equation 
this is the main actually the logic here in the distance vector routing algorithm i shall give you one example uh, to determine to determine the forwarding table using the distance vector routing algorithm for a given network for a given graph suppose if this is one particular network or graph given in the question just to, before you start solving the problem i wanted to tell you how the inform how the particular forwarding table is getting constructed what actually in distance vector routing uh, happens is each of these routers or each of this node maintains what a distance vector a vector is here a one uh, that is a single dimensional array and what does each node stores in that array is the cost to reach the other nodes so once these routers once these nodes are booted what will be the initial information that is the initial values in the ve distance vector what values will be stored in the initial distance vector that need to be first written over here that is the first step so normally if you see here a a is connected with what b a is first even the first step in the distance algorithm says that a to reach a okay a to reach a is what zero a can b c d e f g so these are the possible routers in the internet now a has got direct connection with what b and d whenever there is a direct link with the neighbors that means the neighboring information a knows very well so a can write i can reach b at a cost of 2 i can reach d at a cost of 3 fine only these three rows will be filled later what what to do for the remaining remaining rows are all indirect so it write it re, uh, it writes as infinite 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 okay so this way this is what the initial distance vector for for node a similarly node b will also maintain node b if you have if you want to just write for node b just see here node b wants to reach a b c d e f and g okay so these are the possible nodes b has to reach but b once it it is once it uh, gets booted here in the internet it sees that the neighboring nodes are a c and e so it knows only information about a c it knows how to reach c yes i can reach c at a cost of 5 i can reach a node b writes i can reach a at a cost of 2 and i can reach e at a cost of 4 the remaining is what infinity 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 so this is for node b this is for node e. initially everyone maintains okay this information whichever are the neighboring nodes only for that how to reach that information they know later they start exchanging their information so this distance vectors are what sent to their neighbors now suppose if b is the node b will receive from c the distance vector from a the distance vector from e the distance vector that means once it receives from all these three nodes which it is to which it is connected it can updates its distance vector now it has got a hope that whatever values initially were written as infinity it may get some value here because some distance it will come to know how to reach to this b how to reach to d how to reach to f and how because c would have conveyed fine so let us see how c is conveying to b now take for example the c node suppose a e and e let us take one by one so suppose now b is receiving from e let us take b is receiving from e this is the first one okay neighboring are a e and c so it will receive from e a b c d e f g let us see e to first let us write the distance initial distance vector for e e reaching a it cannot reach because it is an indirect link e can reach b at a cost of 4 e can reach f at a cost of what was the number i had written here between e and f between e and f between e and f the value that was written is 2 so e can reach f at a cost of 2 e can reach d at a cost of 5 E is having these many, but rest E is having what infinite, infinity, infinity. Now, once this table, so I'll put an arrow mark here. B is receiving from E. What? B is receiving from E the initial distance vector. When it receives, what values it can update? Look here. 
B checks its table first. B can reach A at a cost of 2. Here if you see E is reaching A at the cost of, in, in fact E does not know. So, B is safe here. B will not change its value. B can reach B. Actually, B can reach B at a cost of 0 only. So, this becomes 0. So, no need to check because it is no own distance. B to reach C is 5. Here it is infinity. So, there is no need to change. B can reach D at a cost of infinity. But E can reach D at a cost of 5. So, B sees that, okay, E is having a particular value or E knows the cost to reach D. Let me see whether I can update it. So, B will check, okay, B can reach E at a cost of 4 and E can reach D at a cost of 5. So, 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 becomes 9. So, B will updates, update it table and it will write down here 9. Fine. So, it is like going via an intermediate node. Earlier what now? B was not at all having any path. Now, it sees that yes, I can reach D via E because B to E is 4 and E to D is 5. These two values when you add up, you will get 9. One value of B gets filled up here. Next, B to E is 4. Here it is infinity. No need to bother now because E B is having a distance. B to F is infinity. Here E to F is 2. That means E is able to reach F at a cost of 2. Then whether B can update its table? Yes, B can update. B so, in that way what happens is now B is receiving from which particular node the distance vector node A. So, it starts comparing the values whatever it has got with the values with whatever A has got. If it finds a shorter distance uh, reaching other nodes via A then it will include in its it will change in its or it will update its distance vector routing table. For example, if you see the existing values were for B were in this manner but when it receives from A what it has noticed that A is reaching D at a cost of 3. Now, B is reaching D at a cost of 9. First, it will check what is the cost for B to reach A. I can reach A at a cost of 2, A can reach uh, D at a cost of 3. So, I can reach D at a cost of what? At a cost of 5. So, what it will do is it will update its value and it will write down 5. This is smaller value after receiving from it. Similarly, it will check for the other. Here it is infinity. This is 4. So, this is better one. Here already it has got a value. This is infinity. This is infinity. So, this way B has now got one update after it receives from A. Now, let us see if B is receiving an update from which node? From C now. What are the things B can update? Fine. Let us see quickly. This is C. C can reach C with a value 0. That we will first write. C can reach A indirect link infinity. C can reach B at a cost of 5. C can reach where is the D? D in, it is indirect infinity. And C can reach E. E it is not directly connected infinity. C can reach F direct 4. C can reach G 3. So, these values are now. Okay, now it uh, uh, B receives from its neighbor C. Let us see what values it can. Now it is the first one if you see this is more better it will not update this is of course B to B. Now here if you see uh, B can reach C at a cost of 5, C can reach so this is also correct. Then B can reach D at a cost of 5 this is more better here. C does not know the route to reach D. Then E is infinity here E is B is already having the cost to reach E. So no need to change. Then C is what? C can reach F at a cost of 4. B sees that I am reaching F at a cost of 2. This is only lower. So, no need to update. Finally, the last row if you see, B does not have any cost to reach G. Okay, But C has got, it can reach G at a cost of 3. Then what B will do? I can reach C at a cost of 5. C can reach G at a cost of 3. So, 5 plus 3 that means I can reach G at a cost of what? 8. Fine. So, it has updated its table. Now, did you observe the earlier whichever were infinite infinity here in the B uh, for a routing table has got certain values. This has happened after B received from what? From its neighbors the distance vector. This way each of the node here receives from its neighbors the distance vector and it keeps on updating. So, we say this algorithm is iterative. 
in a sense many iterations will happen how many iterations until there is nothing to get updated in the distance vector when everything is finalized there is no more change further then that becomes the final routing table for each of the node so this is the actual the concept the explanation i have given but normally when you write the solution for these kind of problems we have another method which is easy for uh, the students also to carry out the solution because look here to update each of these routing table we are carrying out only one iteration fine since b was the center node here whatever it receives from c e and a has helped b to get some values for all the rows but it may not be the case with node a node a is connected only to b and d so it may receive only from b and d all its values may not get updated further it will wait for one more distance vector to get received from b when when ben, when b receives from c then b will update to a then a will change its values in its distance so these many iterations you are not able to show in the solution for that reason the solution for this kind of problems we show directly using the bellman ford equation some uh, notations we can use like arrow directions or hyphen i will explain you that in the next uh, session and one more thing just wanted to tell you before i wind up this kind of problem is normally asked in the question papers either you will be getting a question on link state routing algorithm or distance vector routing and that too it is for uh, 7 to 8 marks so it is easy for the students to score very simple only just follow the procedure but always check uh, that means the steps whatever you are carrying out in the solution you need to check it every step remember once you go wrong in the first step definitely the final answer will be wrong so thank you bye bye take care